MCP, or Model Context Protocol, is a protocol created by Anthropic to augment your LLM or your agent capabilities. This is a standard that connects AI models like Claude to tools and data on your computer or online if you have a remote MCP server. It's using a simple interface and Anthropic actually describes MCP as a USB plug for AI systems. It can interact with local files, APIs, and more without custom code. My name is Thomas Rocha, I'm a threat researcher, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can leverage MCP for security with a practical example to create and automate the Yara rule creation. So let's dive in. So you have your AI system that could be anything. In that case, it's Cloud Desktop, and Cloud is connecting to MCP, to MCP through the protocol, and the MCP servers are basically your code where you will add your logic to connect to different kinds of resources. So it can be local resources such as SQL database, uh, file systems, or something else. It can also be external resources if you want to connect your MCP to an API or to a web server, for example, or even to GitHub. So that's uh, one of the use cases. You can as well define predefined prompt and role directly into your MCP. So this is very useful if you have a database of prompts for some specific usage. Uh, you can, of course, create your tools if you have a specific tool, such as, for example, uh, calculating some functions or doing some calculation on the background or even uh, doing some data, data processing and so on. Everything can be into an MCP server. And sampling, which is another uh, feature which can basically connect a MCP server to another LLM, for example. So in this video, I'm going to uh, show you my MCP server to use uh, Yara. And I use actually Yara X, which is the latest version of Yara coded in uh, Rust. So basically, what you have to do is just to install the package using pip. And this is the framework is pretty much the same as the previous version of Yara. And all the code is explained on the documentation correctly. And we are going to use the Python SDK uh, from Anthropic to uh, create our MCP server and to give you a brief overview to show you how it works. Here, it's a ba basic MCP server where we are uh, calculating two numbers. So it's very easy to understand. If you have a look, we just declare our MCP server. In that case, the name is demo. And then we have decorators. The first one is mcp.tool. So this is basically a way to tell your LLM that this specific function will be an MCP tool available to your AI system. And then you have your function. And the second, the other one, the other decorator is resource. In that case, uh, you can uh, provide a specific uh, resource to your MCP, and you just have to use the MCP uh, decorator as the tool we, as we saw for the tool above. And it's very easy. This is the only thing that you need to know. Let me show you a more advanced use case with Yara. So here I'm using Yara Rix X as discussed. I'm using FastMCP to create my MCP server. And then the first one, I'm using mcp.prompt decorator because in that case, I want to uh, provide a template prompt to create a Yara rule based on a structure, a template that I predefined in my prompt. So if you have a look, we have the rule name suffix, category tags, description. So you can pretty much put anything you want. It's a, it's a prompt. But it's useful because we want to use that prompt to create a Yara template. So each time this prompt is called by your AI system, it will uh, it can use actually this prompt to create a, a Yara rule based on your template. There is additional. There is also some guidelines. Another MCP prompt that I'm uh, declaring here, which is for Yara rule optimiza optimization. So basically here, what I'm doing, I'm giving some guidelines into my prompt to optimize a Yara rule. So it's basically a way to uh, improve your Yara rules thanks to the LLM by providing some in, uh, interesting guidelines such as string selection and atom optimization, condition ordering and short circuiting, string modifier optimization, regular expression efficiency because it can slow down the scan as well, Module usage recommendations, advanced performance techniques, 
false positive and the last one is performance troubleshooting so this is a detailed prompt to optimize the yara rules and to make it a little bit more uh, performant when you run the the scan and then uh, the other tool which is in that case, we are using mcp.tool to declare the tool. And this one is basically to validate your Yara rule. So this is a way to be sure that your rule is correct and will be uh, will, will uh, compile before deploying the rule. So this is very important to be sure that the rule is working correctly. Some additional basic vali Yara validation. And the last tool that I uh, created is deploy to VirusTotal live hunt. So basically on VirusTotal, you can deploy a Yara rule and monitor for a specific threat, a malware family, and then you can do that with, uh, you can deploy this to VirusTotal and wait for the data. And once the rule is uh, correct and validate, validated by the MCP, it can deploy it. So let's run the MCP server. So here I'm using SSE, so that means I can run this uh, server remotely. We start the server and when everything is correct, it's currently waiting for request from our LLM. So in that case, I'm going to use Cloud Desktop. You can see here the MCP declaration. So in that case, I'm using the NPM package MCP Remote. MCP Remote is interesting because it allows to connect to a remote MCP server. Even if in, in that case, my server is running in localhost, I can put it in a, in a server remotely and make it accessible to multiple AI systems. And the good thing as well with MCP Remote is that it also support authentication. So you can pass, a, um, you can pass an API key directly from the environment. You have the full documentation of MCP Remote directly into the package page. And if you want to uh, get more details about how to use it, how to pass the authentication tokens, and many more usage, you can have a look to it. So let's start Cloud and see how it connects to our MCP server. So first, we can see the request here to our MCP server from our Cloud client. And if we have a look to tools, we can see that we have Doc Yara, which is our MCP server for Yara. And we have actually two different tools. The first one, which is validate Yara rule. And the second one is deploy to VirusTotal live hunt. If you go here, you can see add from Doc Yara. And this is some predefined prompt. The first one is to have a prompt generator where you can pass some information and automatically create your Yara rule based on this prompt and the template we define in our MCP server. And the other one is the Yara rule optimizer where you can pass a specific Yara rule directly from here and optimize the rules. So let's give it a try. Uh, we are going to ask, analyze a piece of malicious PowerShell script and create a Yara rule. Here is the script. So I'm passing a malicious PowerShell script, as you can see here, which is encoded, a lot of Bas64, and see. Uh, let's see how Cloud is dealing with it with our MCP server to create directly the Yara rule. The first thing Cloud is doing is to understand the malicious PowerShell script and create some decoding function, if the because he understands that there is some Bas64 encoding code into the malicious uh, script. Okay, so now that Claude understands a little bit more the context of the malicious script, is going to write our Yara rule, as you can see on the right side. So he was able to identify some interesting strings and patterns to create the Yara rule itself. So there is some interesting uh, information here. And he actually created the condition. So as you can see, it's quite complex. So right now, it's trying to validate the Yara rule with our tool to be sure that the rule is currently compiling and it's working correctly. So let's see how it goes. Interestingly, Claude identified that there is a Yara, a Yara rule syntax error thanks to our tool and is rewriting again the Yara rules and validating again. And good. Now, Claude was able to validate the Yara rule uh, it has created thanks to our validate Yara rule MCP tool. And right now is giving us an overview of the work he did, some information, pretty cool. We didn't ask for it, but Claude was able to understand the context 
and give us more information. So this malicious PowerShell script is a crypto st stealer, cryptocurrencies. We got the attack chain, very nice. And we also get uh, the Yara rule here, which is, as you can see, quite complex. Let's see how we can optimize this rule using our prompt. So we are going to use the Yara rule optimizer. We pass our Yara rule created by Claude. Then we have now the prompt with our Yara rule. So as you can see, the prompt that I define, you are a Yara rule performance optimization expert with deep knowledge of Yara, Yara engine internals. Review and optimize the following Yara rules for maximum performance. And then we have all the details we saw previously. So let's run that. Claude optimize the rules, rewrite some uh, information. And now we can see the optimization. Optimization reorder strings by uniqueness atom quality. And for each of the items we have in our prompt, Claude will improve this rule. And done. Claude was able to validate the Yara rule. So we got the, compi the compiling request, which was successful. And now is writing a report to explain the optimization it did. So this is quite good and quite impressive. And we got a nice report with all the optimization done by Claude directly here. So there is a lot of optimization and maybe something that an analyst will have to review. I'm not saying the rule is perfect, uh, but it's actually a good start and a good way to automate the full process just by passing a script that I didn't know anything about and Claude was able to uh, decode everything and thanks to our MCP for Yara rule, he was able to validate to optimize as well some of the uh, function with this report and having a functional Yara rules. So the next step will be to say, cool, now deploy this rule on VT. Claude understand that he needs to use our MCP tools deployed to virus total live hunt. And perfect, our rule is now deployed on virus total and we can wait for different kind of matching. And you can of course improve the MCP server with different features. We can also imagine to have an, an autonomous agent that will periodically check like maybe once a day to uh, the virus total dashboard and get the information from the matching. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy how you can leverage MCP for Yara rule creation. This was a basic example, but as you can imagine, the possibilities are endless. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.